Hey guys, are you looking for that perfect travel trailer for two? Well, stick around because we found some awesome floor plans of travel trailers just for couples. Hey everybody, Mike from RV Blogger here in front of the camera and Susan's behind the camera. And if you've seen us before on YouTube, welcome back to our channel. If this is your first time seeing us, welcome aboard. Susan and I make tons of videos all about RVing and we invite you to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit that notification bell when you do so you'll be notified every single week when we put out a brand new video. But without any further ado, let's get started on our reviews of awesome travel trailers for couples. This travel trailer is the Forest River Wildwood FSX 164 RBLE. It has an unloaded vehicle weight of 2,819 pounds, a cargo carry capacity of 1,061 pounds, for an overall gross vehicle weight rating of 3,880 pounds. The hitch weight is 380 pounds, it measures in at 20 feet even, and it can sleep up to two people. When you first walk into this travel trailer on the right hand side is where the bed is located. As we wrap on around, we come into the kitchen and living area and behind me here is the bathroom that runs side to side. So our first impression when we walked in here was, you know, this is a nice compact travel trailer. And the big feature is that the bed is right here, which means it's not a Murphy bed. You don't have to make it, you don't have to set it up, you don't have to do anything, it just always stays a bed. Now some of you guys may not like that because some folks say they don't like the entryway near their bed or it's always in the bed position so it's not multifunctional. Let us know in the comments down below if you would wanna see this as a Murphy bed or not or you know just what you think about it. But anyway, this is where your bed is located. Let's get a measurement on it real quick. It is about 74 inches long and 60 inches wide. So this would be considered a short queen size bed in here. Now, the mattress that comes with this camper, you know, this is just an entry level camper. So they didn't really upgrade the mattress very much, if at all, there's no upgrade to this at all. This is a basic three inch foam mattress. Uh, the first thing I would do if I bought this camper is go buy a better mattress right away so I can get a good night's sleep. Now, over top and around of the bed, you have all this cabinetry. Over top, you have a good amount of storage space behind these two cabinets. And then on each side, there's a wardrobe cabinet where you can hang your garments in here and there's still room below to store even more items. There's also a little end table on each end of the bed. And then there's a receptacle located on each side as well. So if you need to plug in any kind of electronics before you go to sleep, you can certainly do that. Now they kind of have a neat feature underneath this bed. They just left it wide open like this. So I don't know, you could kick your shoes off and throw them in under here, but I know Susan would probably buy a few bins, line them all up under here and then store different things in those bins. So they're handy and organized whenever we need them. Also, the TV location is right here, which isn't a good spot. I mean, you could mount your TV here, get it on a swing arm, and then you could watch TV while you're in bed at night or swing it the other way and watch TV from the couch. Now we're moving over to the kitchen area, and this is what we call an inline kitchen. And all that means is that all of your kitchen appliances are in a line. Now, again, this is a very basic camper. It's your starter version of a camper. And so, the, some of the appliances that you might find in more expensive campers are not in here, but we'll run through that together. Now, up top here, you have a nice big cabinet up top. There's no hardware that will hold this door open, so it just falls down. But you can buy some hardware really inexpensively and install it yourself. So when you put the door up, it'll stay up and then you can lower it back down again. Now, below that, we have a two burner cooktop on the right hand side. I love the way they did this. They put one burner in front of the other burner and that way it saves a little bit of countertop space. So you got some space here in the middle between your burners and your sink. Now you'll also notice in the sink, you know, it's not the hugest sink, but it'll do the trick. And you have a nice gooseneck faucet overhead so you can wash your dishes. I love the fact that there's a window over top of the kitchen sink. The natural light that comes in just makes it a lot easier space to work with the extra lighting. And then of course, there is a receptacle up here. So if you have a coffee pot or a toaster that you wanna put here on the counter, you can plug it right in. Now, down below the cooktop and the sink, we have a couple of drawers here for all of your kitchen utensils. 
And then there's also another cabinet here with a little bit of storage underneath the sink. So one appliance that seems to be missing in here is a microwave and the other is an oven. I guess you could maybe bring a countertop microwave along with you if you really needed to do that. Uh, some folks like to use their microwave when they're cooking or an oven. Let us know in the comments down below what you think about that. Do you use your microwave or do you use an oven when you're camping? So it'll be interesting to see what all your thoughts are on that. Now, just next to the kitchen area, well, next to the sink and everything, is where the refrigerator is located. Now, this door kind of swings the wrong way, and I just want to let you know, many times you can reverse the swing on a refrigerator door, and that's what I would do. It should open this way, not the other way. And so the point is, though, this is a great size refrigerator for a small camper. You've got a separate freezer that's huge and a really nice size refrigerator, too. Now, the couch is right across from the kitchen, and it's just a small, basic couch. It's got a little bit of storage underneath of it, but I think you could use it as a bed, maybe for a little kid. I'll throw the measuring tape on it anyway, just to see how big it is. If you did have a little, a little kid that you bring camping with you. Sometimes we bring our grandkids keeping with up, camping with us. So this is 56 inches by 26 inches. So I don't know, I guess a small child could fit on there, or you might just blow up an air mattress and put it on the floor so they don't roll off of their bed. Now, above the couch in here, you have this nice window so you can get some light in here as well. And then above that, you have these two gigantic cabinet doors which offer tons of storage. Now, here we are in the very back of this trailer and I'm in the bathroom, standing in the shower like I usually do. And let's see how much headroom that we have in here in the shower space. So you have a really good amount, I think. I mean, up into this little fan area, you've got six feet, five inches of headroom. And the normal headroom throughout the trailer uh, is six feet, eight, not six feet, six inches. So, you know, not a bad amount of ceiling height inside here. Now, this is just a very basic shower stall. It has a wand that's removable, but they don't even have like a plastic shower surround in here or anything. They're just using the trailer walls. It's okay to do that, but the key to doing this is making sure that all of these corners always stay caulked. So over time, you've got to keep an eye on that and keep all your caulking maintained so this won't get water damaged. Now, it also has a shower curtain in here, and you know, it's fine if you have a shower curtain in here. I prefer what's called a retractable shower door. You can buy those relatively inexpensively, and you can install them yourself. The advantage to them is when you're taking a shower, you don't have the curtain blowing in and sticking to you while you're taking your shower, and you also don't have to worry about your shower curtain sort of falling out of the shower and being on the wrong side, and then water getting on your floor. So now Susan's standing in the shower and I'm in the other side of this bathroom and they have this gigantic closet over here and it's a big wardrobe closet. So this is really where a bunch of your storage is going to take place. You can hang your garments in here. There's still room for storage underneath. And then there's a big open storage area underneath. And I guess they decided that maybe the storage area was more important than putting a vanity and a medicine cabinet and a sink and all that stuff. You can always wash your hands out in the kitchen sink or install a little hand sanitizer in here so you can use that on your hands after you use the restroom. Now, here I am on the commode, and since this bathroom runs from side to side in this camper, I am gonna pass the elbow test all day long. This travel trailer is the modern buggy, big buggy. Has an unloaded vehicle weight of 1,950 pounds, a cargo carry capacity of 900 pounds for an overall gross vehicle weight rating of 2,850 pounds. We don't know the hitch weight on it yet, but the length is 14 feet 8 inches and it can sleep two people. When you first walk into this RV, well, on the right hand side is where the kitchen area is located. Then we wrap on around to the bathroom and then towards the rear of this camper is where your dinette, sofa area and your bed are all located. So here I am at the front of this trailer and this is where the kitchen area is located. And I really like the feel of a front kitchen in a travel trailer. It just feels really cool to me. But anyway, and useful too. But when you walk in here, you'll notice up top here, you've got all this open storage up top with some cargo netting to help hold things in place. Below that, we do have a nice front window here. And then you've got all this countertop space. 
Uh, it's an okay size kitchen sink that's in here with a gooseneck faucet that sits over top. And then there's also a two burner range in here for cooking with propane. Now one really cool feature is this little spice rack that they have in here and it pulls all the way out. Just basically took a drawer, turned it sideways, and now you can load all your spices into here and have them in a very handy place. Just above the kitchen countertop, there is a receptacle on the bottom of the shelf behind the light. So if you need to plug in a toaster or a coffee pot, you can easily do that. Down below, you've got a microwave oven, which is a good size micro for this travel trailer. And then right next to that, you've got your compact refrigerator, and it's even got a little spot here for your ice tray. So here I am sitting at the dinette back here, and this is a really big U-shaped dinette. I mean, you could probably get four people in here, I think, pretty comfortably. Two adults and two kids, I think, could sit here pretty comfortably. But it's a good size table, and this whole entire dinette area does convert into a bed. And if you were to do that, you would end up with a bed that is about, oh, 70, call it, we'll call it 78 inches wide. And then about uh, 51 inches wide or so. Uh, so a little, sh not quite as wide as a queen size bed and almost as long as one. Uh, but not a bad spot for two people to be able to sleep. Now you'll notice back here, you've got uh, all these cup holders up here. There's four of them in total. And then you've got receptacles and USB ports on both sides. And there's also a speaker on each side back here as well. So you can be nice and comfy when you convert this into a bed. You can plug your tablet or phone in or whatever you'd like to do. Now on my left hand side here up above is where the TV location is, which is a pretty good location inside this camper. Two people could sit here and enjoy dinner or lay in bed and be able to watch TV uh, very, very easily. There is also this little countertop area, and there actually is a receptacle and a USB port here. So, you know, worst case scenario, you could put your coffee machine and your toaster over here and plug them in in the morning to make this area work for you. One more nice feature back here in the dinette area is that it does have pretty good sized windows on each side of this camper, and both of these windows are emergency exit windows as well. So if you've never used one before, and we did a video like, have you even ever opened your emergency window in your camper? And you can click the gray box above if you'd like to see it. We recommend everyone try their emergency window when it's not an emergency because they come with packing clips. And I know in our class C, the first time I ever opened it, after owning it for a few years, I couldn't get the window open. Luckily, it was not an emergency situation, but I was able to get the packing clips out. So if we ever have to open it again, we can. Now these type of windows are very, very easy to use. You just pull the latch and push them on out and then they stay right in place. But try your emergency windows in your RV because one day you might need them. You never know. So here I am back up at the front of this trailer and I'm in the wet bath area. And uh, standing in here, you guys know I'm 5'11". I've got about two inches over my head, but I can stand up straight in here. So that's a good thing. But if you're taller than 6'2", uh, you know, you're going to be in trouble. You're going to have to get into that crouch position to take a shower in here. Uh, it's just a very basic room. There's no shelving or anything in here. Uh, so you'd have to probably get some sort of a shower caddy that could attach to the wall to hold shampoo and soaps and things along those lines. And then you just have a little shower curtain here that you pull closed when you're using your shower wand. Now this is a wet bathroom. And what a wet bath means is that the shower and the commode are all in one room and the whole floor is the drain. So it's called a wet bath because everything gets wet when you're in here and you take a shower. After you're done taking a shower, you'd have to dry off your toilet and everything and the floor so you could get in here to use the bathroom in between showers. Um, but it's not a bad uh, wet, wet bath, I guess. I mean, there's plenty of room in here to be able to use it and be comfortable. Clearly, I'm not going to pass the elbow test but there's enough room in front of me that I could get by in here, no problem. Finally, in the very back of this trailer, there is additional storage space as well. You've got some mesh pockets in there to hold things and you can just place things inside and store them away. This travel trailer is the Lance model number 1475. It has an unloaded vehicle weight of 3,225 pounds, a cargo carry capacity of 1,275 pounds for an overall gross vehicle weight rating of just 4,500 pounds. 
The hitch weight is 340 pounds. It measures in at 14 feet, 10 inches long, and it can sleep up to two people. When you walk into this travel trailer on the left-hand side is where the refrigerator is located and the bathroom, both towards the back. And then as we wrap on around, we come through the kitchen and living area, and finally the bed is in the front of the trailer. Now, when you first walk in, you've got your refrigerator located on the left-hand side. And this is a great size fridge for a very small travel trailer. You can see inside, you've got plenty of room inside of your refrigerator and you have a separate freezer up top. Now, some of you guys might notice that there are some fins in the back of this refrigerator. And what you're seeing here is the optional three-way refrigerator that you can upgrade to when you purchase this camper. What would normally come standard would be a 12 volt compressor style refrigerator, but in here they've gone ahead and just shown the upgrade option. So no matter what you want, you can go ahead and get it in your Lance camper. Also just next to the refrigerator is a little pantry cabinet here and all the shelves are in here are fully adjustable. Down below the fridge, they have another cabinet door, but this is really just an access point to get to some of the technical matters within this trailer. So here we are now at the kitchen area inside this camper, and it's just a beautiful looking kitchen from the two-tone cabinets to the nice backsplash and the window above, the whole thing just looks great. But starting up top here, they have these wonderful doors that open up. On the right-hand side, you have lots of storage space, and on the left-hand side, you have your microwave oven. Now, down below that, you have, of course, your range hood above, and then they put in this really cool looking backsplash here. So if you have any splatter while you're cooking, it helps protect your trailer walls. This is a three burner cooktop. And then down below that, there is a really nice fuller sized oven in here. You could actually get two oven racks in an oven this size and bake a pizza or two or bake a double batch of cookies, whatever you would like to do. Now moving across from that, we have a really nice big window over top of the kitchen sink, which lets in not lots of natural light, even a little bit of countertop space. And these countertops are fantastic, by the way. They're very, very pretty. There's a nice big single bowl sink here with a big old gooseneck faucet and sprayer. And then as we keep moving to the right, we have all of the controls and some speakers for your radio system up top here. TV is mounted here, which is in a great spot, by the way, because you can see it from your bed or you can see it from your swivel chairs just as easily. So great spot for that. And then we have some additional countertop space here. Now, if you have a toaster or coffee maker, things like that, there's a receptacle on the one side of this cabinet. And there's also a receptacle on the front of the cabinet up near the sink area. So you have a couple places where you can plug in your kitchen appliances. Down below the sink, there is just tons and tons of storage under here. And this is where your kitchen drawers pull out so you can store all of your kitchen utensils away. And underneath of the secondary countertop, there's just a massive amount of storage under here. I don't know why they don't have a shelf built in here, but you could install one yourself rather easily, or you could use some bins to store things away under there. So here I am sitting at what would be the dinette area, but it would also be sort of your living area, right? You could use it either way in here. There is no dinette per se, but they have these cool looking swivel chairs in here. And then that gives you a nice dinette table that you can use for you know, eating dinner or working away on your computer. Uh, I did forget to mention that underneath of this swivel chair, there is a drawer that pulls out. So you have some extra storage there as well. Now above your swivel chairs, you have this nice big window here. So you can get a nice cross ventilation through this entire camper. There's a couple of lights above with some open storage. And then above that, we have more storage behind the cabinet doors. Now, one cool thing about the Lance campers is, let's say you don't really like the swivel chairs. You would prefer to have a sofa that maybe jackknifes into another bed. Well, you can choose the slide out option in the 1475 model, which will change from the swivel seating to a nice sofa in here. And then this becomes your dinette and it's your sofa for lounging. So if you go ahead and jackknife your sofa out, like so, you will end up with a sofa or bed that is about uh, 60 inches by 37 inches. Now at the very front of this travel trailer is where the bed is located. And let's get a measurement on this. This is a pretty big bed, I think, because it does run 
from side to side in this camper. And so it is, it's a full 80 inches long. And then of course it is 60 inches wide. So this would be considered a residential size queen bed in here, which is fantastic. Now you've got three really nice windows here that you can open up and get all kinds of fresh air in here. And then they have some storage overhead with some cargo netting to hold things in place. Now, again, there are some receptacles and USB ports on the side of this cabinet here. So if you're laying in bed and you need to charge your phone or tablet or Kindle or whatever, you can place them right here on the countertop in a nice place to store them. Now, underneath of the bed is all storage space and it's accessible three different ways. One of the ways you can get to it is right underneath the bed from inside your camper. And then it also has access doors from the outside on either end. So here I am inside the shower like I usually am. And I have to say, you know, I like the corner, the corner style showers, but this one seems to be a little bit on the small side. The shower curtain does wrap around and it will stick to you while you're taking a shower. No way around that. But it's on a track, so it helps control the curtain and keep it in the shower with you so you don't get water out on the floor. Now behind me here is where your faucets are. And then of course there's a couple of shelves for your shampoo and soap. Now let's see how much headroom we have in here. I'm kind of curious to see that. You guys know I'm 5'11". And if we measure up into the skylight, we have about uh, six feet, seven inches of space and headroom in the entire trailer is about six feet, eight inches of space. So for you taller folks, you know, maybe this is a good option because you've got that full size queen bed, plus you have, you know, some good headroom throughout the entire camper. Now, just outside of the shower is where, you know, the vanity and medicine cabinet are located. Very, very nice touches. I mean, the lighting in here, the way they use the plastic around the openings to all their shelving. I mean, the fit and finish in a Lance camper is really, really nice. Down below that, we have a small vanity with a big sink. This is a deep sink. Man, how deep is that thing? Uh-oh, let's find out. I would say that's about eight inches deep into that sink. That's incredible. So, I don't know, maybe I wouldn't splash as much water around inside this bathroom if I had a deeper sink to work with, and I know that would make Susan extra, extra happy. Now, down below your vanity, there's another cabinet down here with a built-in shelf for additional storage. So here I am sitting on the commode in here. No way I'm gonna pass the elbow test on my right, but on my left-hand side, there is plenty of room. Hey guys, let us know which one of these travel trailers you like the best and why in the comments down below. We would absolutely love to hear from you. But if you want to see even more awesome travel trailers for couples, just click the box down below and Susan and I will see you in the next video.